Today in our 2015 Jayco Pinnacle 5th Wheel, we will be having a look at and installing the Torque Lift Glow Step Revolution Scissor Steps with Landing Gear, part number TLA8004. Now what sets these apart from other manufacturer steps or the factory steps on your 5th wheel or your travel trailer is that these offer the ultimate in stability and security and safety for when you're traveling up them into your trailer. Now we're getting this extra stability and safety because our steps are making contact with the ground with our built-in landing gear right here. The main reason the factory steps are lacking on most fifth wheels or travel trailers is that we don't have a landing gear here that makes our bottom step have contact with the ground and that makes it very unstable when we're getting in and out of the trailer. When you initially step onto your factory ones that don't have them, you can see how much they move and how unstable they are. And I'm not a big guy, but you can see that I'm getting about two inches of deflection just stepping onto them. Now with these steps being manufactured out of a lightweight aircraft grade aluminum, they are extremely easy to handle, maneuver, put in and out of the stored position. Simply lift up on the bottom step and start pushing it on in. Use your knees or your thigh to help brace it. Lift up on the latch push on in, slides in place, and locks on down. Then we can take our pin to secure it so our latch mechanism cannot be moved and our steps are fully stored inside the RV. By simply pulling the pin, lifting up the handle, and pulling out by the top step, it comes on out. Then you can grab it by the bottom, pull it on out, set it down on the ground. Now to make life even safer, when night falls on our campground, our steps have two glow-in-the-dark corners on each step, which will glow for up to 10 hours with only five minutes of sun exposure. So here we are at our fifth wheel, by our door to enter the fifth wheel with our steps. Basically what you're looking for is the bolts that secure the frame housing of the steps to the trailer itself. You don't need to take anything else out, just those bolts. All right, so the removal process will vary for your particular steps that you have and the type of trailer that you have. But generally speaking, you should have at least two bolts per side that you'll need to remove and those sizes will vary. All right, with our bolts removed, we can slide our step assembly on out now. I put a pair of jack stands underneath the steps to help hold it up when we're removing the bolts. That way, we didn't run the risk of it falling on us. Now for this particular application, we'll be using the Torque Lift Vertical Stud Adapter Bracket Kit, part number TLA80. Two, two. And that will replace our factory bracket right here. Okay, now we'll take our side bracket here. These brackets will work on one and two stud applications. In our case, it's a one stud application. Slide it over the stud. Place on a flat washer. lock washer and we'll thread on our nut. We're just going to have everything just finger tight for right now. Do the same for the other side. Okay, now that we have our side bracket hung up, we'll attach our frame support bracket to it. It'll go behind our bracket here and we'll slide it over until it makes contact with our frame right here. We'll install our carriage bolts here. Place a flat washer on the back side. Followed by a lock washer. And we'll thread on our nut. Our second carriage bolt, we want as far away from the other bolt as possible. 
we'll leave this all finger type for right now. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, we've gone ahead and got our steps mostly in position and unfolded. Now to make this install a lot easier for one person to do, we're going to remove the steps from the cage assembly that they fold up into. Now in order to do this, we'll have to remove one bolt per side. There's an Allen key bolt. We'll use the provided Allen key that comes with our steps. Stick it in there and then remove the nut using a 916 socket. Push the bolt on through and there's a plastic bushing in between the steps and the bracket. Take that out and we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, we went ahead and placed our frame for our steps in position and we're using a couple jack stands to support it. Now we'll take our 3 8 bolt, 3 8 flat washer, and we'll push it through the slotted holes, both locations, and we'll match it up to the corresponding holes on the frame bracket that we installed. Okay, where our bolt pushes through on the frame bracket, we'll place on another flat washer. We'll place on a lock washer. and then we'll secure a nut into place. And we'll do the back one now the same way. Now, if you don't have an extra set of hands to help you out, at this point, you can remove your jack stands and replace it with a floor jack and a block of wood to help level everything out so you can start fastening down the hardware in the proper sequence. All right, now we'll start tightening down our hardware we will tighten the bolts that hold the steps to the brackets first. Now we'll torque that hardware to mount specified in the instructions. Okay, now we'll tighten down the nuts that attach our brackets to the trailer themselves. Right now we'll torque that to the mountain instructions. Okay, now we're gonna drill a pilot hole through our bracket here, which attaches our side brackets to our frame on the trailer so we can secure it with our self-tapping screws. With our pilot hole made now, we will take our self-tapping screw and run it on into place. And now we'll repeat the same process for the upper hole and then the other side. You can see here where we had to cut out some of our plastic sidewall to gain access to tighten our carriage bolts here on this side. Now we will tighten down and torque after they're tight, the nuts on the carriage bolts that hold our frame extension to our side plate. And we'll use an 11 16 socket for this. Now that we got our frame for our steps fully installed, we can install our steps now. And there you have it, just like that. We now have our steps. And that completes our look at an installation of the Torque Lift Glow Step Revolution Scissor Steps with Landing Gear, part number TLA8004 on our 2015 Jayco Pinnacle 5th Wheel.